Welcome to the house of hypertrophy. How often you should train a muscle and for how many sets is forever debated in the industry. This highly fascinating recent study compared training a muscle two times to three times a week for muscle hypertrophy with different set numbers. In this video, we're going to dissect this study and then fit it into the rest of the overall scientific research on training frequency and sets for building muscle, so that by the end, you'll have a clearer understanding of what you need to know. Now, a cool thing about this recent study is they divided subjects into those with more slow twitch or fast twitch fibers. Why was this cool? Slow twitch fibers are low force producing but highly fatigue resistant, while fast twitch fibers are high force producing but very fatigable. Previous research indicates people with more fast twitch muscle fibers tend to experience greater fatigue and may be more susceptible to overreaching. Thus, perhaps they benefit from training less, while those more slow twitch benefit from training more. Let's dive into the study. Twenty-one previously untrained individuals were divided into those with more slow twitch or fast twitch fibers. The fiber type measurements were just done on the lower body muscles, but the authors note lower body fiber type can correlate with upper body fiber type. All subjects trained the unilateral leg extension, leg curl, dumbbell curl, and skull crusher for three to four sets of reps to failure. With one side of their body, they performed this two times a week with at least 72 hours of rest between sessions, thereby totaling six to eight sets per muscle in a week, with the other side of their body. They perform this three times a week with at least 48 hours of rest between sessions, thereby totaling 9 to 12 sets per muscle in a week. Therefore, both training frequency and set numbers were different between the conditions. Interestingly, the slow twitch group ended up performing more repetitions compared to the fast twitch group, which might be logical as we know slow twitch fibers are more fatigue resistant versus fast twitch fibers. However, not all previous research has established strong correlations between fiber type and the number of reps performed with a given loading. Nonetheless, quadriceps, hamstrings, biceps, and triceps hypertrophy was measured, and all four of these muscles tended to grow more with the three times per week training. This held true for both the slow twitch and fast twitch fiber groups, therefore opposing the notion individuals with more fast twitch fibers benefit from training less. There are some additional crucial points from these results, but before revealing these, it is interesting to see that the slow twitch fiber group grew just as well as the fast twitch fiber group on average. In other words, having proportionally more fast twitch fibers did not lead to greater gains versus having proportionally more slow twitch fibers. How could this be? After all, in isolation, fast twitch fibers appear to grow more than slow twitch fibers, but fiber type is just one of the many factors that may determine how much muscle growth you experience. This may indicate that when we compare a fast twitch fiber group to a slow twitch fiber group, these other factors in the mix essentially mean people with more fast twitch fibers do not always grow more than those with more slow twitch fibers. Returning to the findings, as each subject trained both two times and three times a week, we can see the individual responses, and it indicates the large majority of individuals from both the slow and fast twitch fiber groups grew better training three times per week. There were only a few cases of gains being better with a two times per week training for a person. However, and this is a key point, despite the average and the majority of the individual's responses indicating better gains with the three times per week training, the benefit was certainly not large. We're only talking about about an extra 1-3% growth with the quads, hamstrings, and biceps. The triceps did see a greater 4-5% extra average growth from the 3 times per week training, which may point towards the fascinating idea of some muscles selectively responding better to more training. Regardless, this data still suggests a large bulk of gains can be attained with lower amounts of training. Now, the subjects were previously untrained, so the benefit of training more may increase with training experience, but as we'll dissect in some upcoming videos, various well-trained individuals can still see reasonable hypertrophy from lower amounts of training. Switching up the discussion, remember that both training frequency and set numbers differed between conditions, but which was it that led to the more hypertrophy with the three times per week condition? To answer this, we need to briefly decipher the current research on training frequency and sets for muscle hypertrophy. Before this, however, we need to touch on some important considerations with this study. In this study, the slow twitch group of course had proportionally more slow twitch fibers versus the fast twitch group. However, not every subject in the slow twitch group could be described as slow twitch dominant, as the numbers in the study indicate some of the subjects likely had a near 50-50 split of slow and fast twitch fibers. 
Conversely, the far twitch group had an average 61-39 split of fast to slow twitch fibers. Therefore, the results of this study could be different if we compared more slow twitch dominant to more fast twitch dominant individuals. Another consideration is that as already mentioned, there's evidence people with more fast twitch fibers experience greater fatigue and are more susceptible to overreaching. Since the fast twitch group grew well training 3 times per week with 9-12 to 12 weekly sets per muscle, this magnitude of training wasn't excessive for them. In fact, feelings of soreness and fatigue were actually similar between the slow and fast twitch groups in this study. But it remains possible if reasonably higher set numbers or frequencies were used, the fast twitch group would struggle to recover. So was it the training frequency, set numbers, or both that contributed to the greater gains with the 3 times per week condition? As established in this 2019 meta-analysis, when the total number of sets performed per week was kept the same, there was no difference in muscle growth between dividing these sets into higher or lower frequencies. However, when we go ahead and graph the muscle growth of the various frequencies, we can see that the 3 times per week frequency led to slightly better gains. This was not statistically significant. Statistical significance isn't everything, but in this specific context, there are quite notable differences behind the studies comprising this data. Nonetheless, it's still evident substantial average hypertrophy is achieved across a wide range of frequencies. Fortunately, an important study by Neves released last October revealed something highly interesting. They had trained men perform 9 sets for the quadriceps in a week. One leg performed all 9 sets in one session, while the other leg distributed the 9 sets across 3 non-consecutive days per week. Some subjects saw similar quad growth between the 1 times and 3 times frequency, while others saw greater growth with the 3 times frequency. Accordingly, the greater growth for some subjects in the previous study could possibly be due to the 3 times per week frequency itself. However, it is likely that for many, if not all of them, the high highest sets were contributing too. As identified in this meta-analysis, performing 9 or more weekly sets for a muscle group produced more muscle hypertrophy than fewer than 9 weekly sets. I do want to point out that this data still reinforces the notion that a large bulk of gains can still be achieved with lower set numbers. Some of you may be wondering about how even higher set numbers per week compare to moderate values as well as the role of training status. Stay tuned as in the next few weeks we'll have some updated videos related to this. Some of you may also be curious about efficiently creating, tracking, and evolving your hypertrophy or strength training. Most fitness apps are basic and virtually the same, but the Alpha Progression app provides unique and advanced features without being overwhelming. The app can help you generate an evidence-based program customized to your desires in just a few minutes, with advanced options to prioritize sets and reps in reserve and implement scheduled deloads. With a touch of a few buttons, you can personalize things further. The app saves you time by automatically generating graphs that display your long-term progression, which may allow you to spot trends in your training. Scrolling through their massive exercise database, you may discover exercises you never knew existed. During workouts, the app analyzes your past performance to provide progressive overload recommendations. The link in the comments and description allows you to try out the app's premium features free for two weeks, and if you like it and decide to go beyond, the link provides 20% off a subscription. The app is truly exceptional, with the review speaking to this. In summary, this paper found training 3 times per week with more sets led to greater muscle hypertrophy compared to training 2 times per week with fewer sets in both a slow twitch and fast twitch fiber group. We've previously seen that when total set numbers per week are equated, some individuals do grow more with a 3 times per week frequency, so it's possible the 3 times per week frequency may have contributed to the greater growth for some subjects. However, the higher set numbers were likely contributing to the greater gains for many too, as meta-analytic data finds performing 9 or more sets for a muscle group in a week produced more growth than performing fewer than 9 sets. Having said all this, it is still worth emphasizing appreciable muscle hypertrophy is still attained with lower amounts of training, so it is an option on the table depending on your personal goals. Thank you for watching, feel free to check out the Alpha Progression app or our recent deep dive into building the lats.